Welcome back to our aviation journey. In this episode, we're diving into the fascinating world of wide-body jetliners and exploring one of the iconic aircrafts that revolutionized the long-haul travel. Then join us as we take a closer look at the Douglas DC-10. The Douglas DC-10, introduced in the early 1970s, was a game changer in the world of commercial aviation. It was designed as a wide-body and three-engine jetliner. The DC-10 boosted impressive range, increased passenger capacity, and advanced technological features that set new standards for air travel. With its distinctive wide fuselage and three engines, which two of them mounted under the wings and one at the vertical fin, the DC-10 exuded a sense of power and capability. Its design allowed for higher passenger capacity, comfortable seating arrangements, and a spacious cabin, ensuring a pleasant flying experience for travelers on long-haul flights. The DC-10 was not only aesthetically pleasing but also technologically advanced. Equipped with advanced avionics and navigation systems, the aircraft boosted enhanced safety features including redundant systems and advanced autopilot capabilities, ensuring a smooth and secure journey for passengers and crew. Beyond passenger transport, the DC-10 played a significant role in cargo operations. With its spacious cargo hold, the aircraft could efficiently carry large volumes of freight, contributing to global trade and logistics. The McDonnell Douglas DC-10 was produced in three basic models. The Series 10 for domestic routes to 3,500 miles, and the Series 30 and 40 for extended range and intercontinental travel. DC-10s were modified as passenger and cargo convertible versions and as the KC-10 aerial tanker for the U.S. Air Force. In addition to the luxury and spaciousness inherent in its wide cabin, the three-engine DC-10 incorporated improvements in propulsion, aerodynamics, structure, avionics, flight control systems, and environmental compatibility that advanced industry standards. The DC-10 had its fair share of problems following its introduction in the 1970s. On June 12, 1972, American Airlines Flight 96 had a cargo door failure leading to rapid decompression. As a result, two members of the crew and nine passengers were injured. Following this, on March 3, 1974, Turkish Airlines Flight 981 also had a cargo door failure. This led to explosive decompression and caused the deaths of all 346 people on board the flight. American Airlines Flight 191 was flying from Chicago to Los Angeles, but there was a loss of control due to engine detachment amid improper maintenance. Subsequently, all 273 people died on board as a plane crashed near O'Hare International Airport on May 25, 1979. Following the 1979 accident, the DC-10 was grounded by the FAA between June 6 and July 13 of that year. Even though the types of certificate was restored, the impact of the preceding accidents undoubtedly impacted the plane's reputation and helped to inspire its decline. Today, the DC-10 is no longer in the air for commercial passenger services. However, it can still be spotted on cargo and Air Force operations around the board. Like much like another McDonnell Douglas wide-body trijet, the MD-11, the DC-10 stretched its carrier longer in the freighter market. Even though it's rare to see the DC-10 in the skies today, it's still great to know that it still has a role in society. It's been over five decades since the type first took flight, but it still holds a role in the global aviation industry.